What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I am doing another Locals vlog. But today's Locals is not just going to be any Locals, it's actually going to be a GOAT format Locals. I've never actually been to one of these Time Wizard format Locals. So this is definitely going to be a good experience. But if you guys do enjoy these vlogs, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! vlogs, content, deck profiles, all that kind of stuff. It is going to be on the channel. I upload five days a week. Now I'm really excited because I've never actually done a GOAT format Locals. However, that may present some problems because I've never actually built a side deck for the GOAT format. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the deck profile and I'll get into a little bit more detail. Okay, so usually I have my GOAT format deck ready on the side, right? And I put together a little side deck, but usually I'm only playing with my friends with the main deck really. And I'll show you guys the main deck in just a second. But essentially what the problem is, is I was looking through my cards and I have like a pile of GOAT format specific cards and I'm missing a lot of decent cards that should go into the side deck. So let me show you guys the main deck real quick because I'm very confident with this main deck. This main deck is insane. Playing one Jinzo, one BLS. We're playing Chaos uh, Control, by the way, if you guys didn't know. So I'm playing Chaos Control. So we're playing a bunch of Chaos Monsters. Breaker, of course, Ashura Priest, Double Gravekeeper Spy. I really like this. I think this tech is really, really good. It's also 2k defense, so not a lot of things can get over this. Then we're playing two Dokoichi. You guys can see some of my stuff is high rarity and some of my stuff is super low rarity. It's kind of funny, but yeah. Two ulti the koi cheese why did i have to say ulti i don't know oh, two magician of faith one sangan one sinister serpent and we got three thunder dragon as well as two Sukiyomi. I think these ratios are perfect. We're playing a decent amount of dark monsters. These are gonna always guarantee you light monsters in your graveyard. We're in a really good spot with this monster lineup. I don't think I change this up at all. Just before we get into the spell cards, actually, I do wanna mention that this is heavily based off of like Dale Belito's Chaos Control build. So yeah, shout out Dale Belito. So two Book of Moon, one Delinquent Duo, one Graceful Charity, one Heavy Storm, three Metamorphosis, of course. We're playing one MST. Two Noble Mana Cross Out, one Pot of Greed, of course. Like these are pretty standard GOAT stuff. Two Scapegoat as well as one Snatch Steal. I don't think I change any of these. Metamorphosis actually has a really good combo with a card in my side deck that I'm going to be showing you guys. But yeah, I wouldn't change these. These are obviously the go-to spell cards in GOAT. Then for the traps, we're playing one Dust Tornado, one Mirror Force, one Raigeki Break, one Ring of Destruction, one Sakuratsu, as well as one Torrential Tribute. Raigeki Break is really good because it lets you pitch a light or a dark for your Chaos Monsters. And uh, yeah, I think these just are staple trap cards. Okay, so we got our four little tokens over here. We got our Go tokens. Before the extra deck, we're playing 3,000 Eyes Restrict, of course. Funny enough, you guys see this really beat up one. I actually have a better condition one, but this was the first one I ever got. And I'm talking this was like years ago, right? And uh, I found this one all beat up for like a quarter. So now I just play this card for like good luck i don't know why and then we're playing two rio senshi now i'm playing some ocg versions of the cards i talked to my locals they said it was okay so yeah i mean it's go format anyway so i'm playing some of these i really like the ocg ones two rio senshi one ojama king one gatling dragon two of the fiendish skull dragon we got one reaper one dragoness we need some threes for our uh, sangan and whatnot so one dragoness dark fire we got Dark Blade and two Dark Balter over here. So that's it for the extra deck. It's 15 cards. Technically in gold format at this time, there was no limit. But yeah, we're playing with 15 cards. All right, so you guys saw the main deck. You guys saw the extra deck. It looks all good, right? The side deck is where it gets a little bit iffy because I actually haven't played at any gold format events. And when I play with my friends, we never really use a side deck. We just go main deck only. So this side deck is going to be very scuffed. There's one thing specifically that I want to talk about. These kind of are like more or less like standard. The Kaiko is really good into the mirror match. You got mind control. This takes face down cards that you can flip and then you know you get their effects giant true nade i don't want to deal with back row at all so we're playing the giant true nade lightning vortex really good you get to pitch a light or a dark for you and then destroy everything your opponent controls third book of moon because i'm playing two in the main deck so the third one here two sakuretsu two compulse one dust tornado here as well as the trap dust shoot so this is where it gets kind of iffy i really don't like playing the one trap dust shoot you ideally want to be playing three trap dust shoot like instead of the compulse you just play three trap dust shoot here however the problem is i only have the one and i can't find any more maybe if i get to locals i can find more before the event but this is what we're playing if you guys were going to a goat format locals do not take the side deck the side deck is completely scuffed i mean i guess other than these cards up here but these ones here you definitely want to switch up honestly it's 11 a.m locals isn't until like 7 p.m i don't know why i started off the vlog so early but i guess it's time for some breakfast a few moments later all right so for the, the three people who are curious i'm actually on a keto diet so this is my breakfast eggs with some swiss cheese everything bagel seasoning cucumber got some feta cheese this is turkey slices with uh, avocado in the middle and then some hot sauce some spanko spice right there boom you know your boy's gonna look good for nats gotta lose some weight soon after okay so it's 6 45 we finally made it out locals after a long days of literally just studying actually and waiting to come to locals but we're at locals now and it's gonna start in about 15 minutes 
I honestly have no idea what to expect. I didn't even bring my camera to record duels, to be honest with you, because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if the scene is big for GOAT here. I've never done this, like I said earlier, and it's very new to Untouch. I think they started doing this locals like last week or two weeks ago, so it is still very new. But honestly, I'm really excited. We're going to see what happens, and I guess I'll just keep you updated when we get in there. So uh, we're at Untouch now. We're with Jordan, all right? And Jordan tells me that not a lot of people come here for GOAT locals. Well, we've true? been getting people. I mean, I need a video today. So hopefully people show up because I brought a deck. You know, I actually put together something if for today. If you told me, I could have brought Edison. Oh, we could have done Edison. No, but today's supposed to be GOAT format. You just got to shoot me a text. I'll put together Edison. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so there's now two of us. We need two more to run a tourney. There are two... Wait, that's it. We just need four people to run the tourney. I'm surprised, though. I heard it was doing pretty well. I guess not, though. Or maybe just not today. All right, we need two more people, and then the tourney starts. Please, I need a video for tomorrow, aka today for you guys watching. So good news. After about 20 or so minutes, we got some trading done, which is nice. I got an ulti levy in here. We got some trading done. So these were the pickups from Locals today. I got the Alti Levy, of course. Needed this. You know me, I love Altis, and I just needed this for the collection. So Alti Levy. We got a Sparkman over here, which is a promo card. There's a secret version, but I really like this ultra version. I think it looks really clean. Just wanted this for the collection. And lastly, oh, my favorite thing of the day is this Elemental Hero Neos. This Japanese Elemental Hero Neos. It has this like weird shine to it, as you guys can see. It's kind of like an ultra rare, but like the whole card has a shine. I don't know if I can explain it. Got it at a good price. But after about 20 or so minutes, we're starting up the locals. We have enough people, so we do have a video for today. Thankfully. I'm really happy about this because I actually was worried. I was like, oh no, my daily upload streak is gonna end. Goat format, first time ever. Let's get it, wish me luck. Okay, so I stepped outside. We finished round one. Oh, baby. Now I remember why I stopped playing GOAT. Man, this format is so RNG. We actually went into game three. My opponent was really cool, actually. But uh, yeah, we went into game three. It was tight. It was very close. I literally lost to a top deck, um, Ernai Parsha. And then he drew into Dimension Fusion. And then, yeah, it happens. But yeah, I mean, I mean, it's GOAT format. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I was not expecting to like just get clapped by something super random like that. By the way, see this big line behind me? So people, are, I think, are lining up for their passports. A day or in advance that's so crazy to me but yeah we got two more rounds this is round two and i got the buy in round two so i think i got one more. so i'm one one technically because i got the buy so we're only having three rounds today small locals i actually thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger but it was a pretty small locals we'll see how it goes if we go if we win our next round then i think we still get some pricing i don't know man this is just for fun go format is just for fun this guy hits every time on that man he hits every time <laughs> You're just better. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> just before we get into the next round, some of you guys might not be familiar with the GOAT format and what it is. It's basically a format that's like 2005. Pretty much the only important thing you need to know is this is the ban list. And you guys need to know that this is like essentially the ban list that you're playing with. And then you're playing with everything before CRV. So no Cyber Dragon. I think it's TLM is the last thing you can play. So technically you can play Heroes in GOAT format. No Cyber Dragon, no CRV. Here's the ban list. It's the ban list that you need to know. And essentially you can play GOAT format as well. Right there. Second place, baby. Second place. My first GOAT locals, second place. I'm not mad. I can't be mad at that. We played Chaos Control like you guys saw. That was tough, low keys. Um, it was a small locals though. It wasn't a big locals or anything, but that was fun. It was actually fun. Uh, I got to meet some new guys because we, you know, the GOAT format guys are different from like the regular tournament or advanced format guys. So that was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to end the vlog off in the car, but I just wanted to say that maybe if you guys want to see more GOAT format or other format like vlog content like this, let me know in the comment section down below because maybe I could do that. So it's fun. I had fun. I actually enjoyed my time. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm home now, so we're gonna end off the vlog. Really, I had a very fun experience today. I've never had the experience where I had to side deck in GOAT format and play through different actual decks because me and my friends always just play Chaos Control or GOAT Control, very simplistic decks. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the reason why I do this. Thank you guys all for being here. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace. Get up, get up, bring on you to get